we'll call this meeting to order. Our first order of business is going to be the invocation. We were, we're going to have Apostle Von Newsom with Impact Church, but Apostle Newsom was not able to attend, and he has asked that Pastor Yelverton come in. So if you would, please stand, and as soon as he finishes with the prayer suit, we're going to get y'all up here, okay? Good evening, sir. <coughs> Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for keeping us, Lord, in peace. And we just ask you, Lord, to be in the midst on tonight. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, and we even thank you in advance for everything that will be accomplished on tonight. Lord, we lift up the mayor and every city councilman right now. God, continue to give them the knowledge, the peace, and the understanding and wisdom, God, to continue to govern our city. We thank you for everyone that's under the sound of my voice. We thank you for concerns being addressed on tonight. We even thank you, Lord, for even policies and procedures, God, and things, Lord, that are on the table. God, as we come together, Lord, be in the midst, and we thank you for what you're gonna do, and we give you all the honor and the praise in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Yoder. We appreciate that. And Pastor Yoder is with Impact Church. You know. All right, it's Troop 258, Rosewood. Y'all going to come up and help us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? If you will, just kind of come right through here. You know where the flag is? That's it. Two Life Scouts. Two Life Scouts. Yes. Two Life Scouts. Three Life Scouts. All right, y'all are up here. So we're going to turn and face the flag, right? All right. All right, let's start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you. y'all coming tonight. Uh, next, we have roll call. Mayor Allen. Here. Mayor Here. 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 Present. Here. Here. We're all here. Next, we have presentations. We have an employer support of the Guard and Reserve presentation. Jim? If you will. Start asking questions, sir? No, I was going, but you got it. Never mind. You're good. Okay. I'm Jim Lee. I represent a very, 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 very small part of the Department of Defense. And uh, I'm here tonight to award someone um, that's been nominated for a very nice award. Um, as a member of ESGR, there are about 3,000 volunteers that we do, we do this job. I have three goals with ESGR to encourage businesses to hire active members of the Guard and Reserve, to assist employers and their military employees that they maintain a cooperative spirit, and to assist active Guard and Reserve with pre and post deployment issues. I doubt I need to encourage y'all to hire uh, members of the Guard and Reserve. Your HR people and your supervisors here have surely noted that many advantages there are of hiring military uh, people, everything from prompt attendance to drug-free activities and skills and leadership. One of my greatest challenges is helping employers understand that America changed in many ways on 9-11. Still many repercussions. And now, whether we like it or not, as employers, we are all a part of the defense of America. Like it or not, every business everywhere has a role. But then I'm speaking to probably the premier group that puts up billboards around the state, I guess, about you love jet noise. So I feel like I'm preaching to the choir. And then I noticed your slogan. I thought you may have had it for a long time, but I just saw it. Be, be, uh, be more, do more, and see more. I mean, how can you support the military any better than being just right out front? Of it? So I commend you for that. Um, you have a gentleman working for you that's a, a fireman. And uh, what I want to do is get right down to the street level, I guess you'd say what it is. Uh, you have an assistant chief, Mr. Sasser, Frank Sasser, 
And I understand he's so weak need he had to bring a lot of people with him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you like to come up and we will uh, give you this little thing. It's up to you if you'd like all your guys to come up here and bring you up. Yeah, I'll like you need to come up with uh, fire kids and come up. <laughs> but one thing like in the military and with towns with emergency services, I was in rescue squad for years, years ago. It's a team thing. It's not a one man deal. Um, but you were picked out uh, by a fellow you look after and I cannot really say it better than he did. So I want to read what he put on his nomination form for you. I had, had a couple words, weren't bad, I just had to, I think he mistyped something. Over the last 12 years as a Goldsboro firefighter and a soldier officer in the North Carolina Army National Guard, the department has made my military service and time needed uh, a priority for staffing purposes. Assistant Chief Fred Sasser inputs my military time for the year on his training calendar prior to approving any employee's vacation request. If there's a short notice training event, school or mission, Assistant Chief Frank Sasser would make that a priority and bring it in, in off-duty personnel. Uh, department personnel, department personnel routinely ask if my family needs anything, whatever. Uh, I am away for extended periods of time. In fact, he's away tonight. I was hoping to get to his uh, serving guard duty down at Fort Bragg this week. If uh, if I'm away for extended periods of time, says Chief Frank Sasser, Goldsboro Fire Department, and the city of Goldsboro, as an employer, have been instrumental in my ability to serve in the North Carolina National Guard. And they, you and you, deserve just as much respect for their assistance as I personally received from mine. I'm sure you've seen guys pat people on the back, thank you for your service, thank you for your service. And that's what he's doing to you. He's thanking you especially and everyone here in this room, I think. Thank you for your service. So, uh, without really boring you too much, I've got official suitable for framing. All right. Already framed award. <laughs> Hope you can hang that in your office. And uh, got you something to add to your uniform. I don't know what your requirements are on uniforms. Uh, some people, some groups, but you put it on by Okay. As your official hand for supporting ESDR as a, a real patriot. And I've got you a few more here because every fire assistant fire chief has a fire chief. Okay. And there's a town manager I know he answers to, and probably a mayor, and maybe an HR director. I've got a couple more down in there for you. Okay. And uh, there's a pen, oh, there's an official pen in my car. So if anyone here has any people with the military they won't support please have them contact me any way they can so that's the, the fanciness of our presentation sir and i, I think thank you would you turn around would you, would you turn around and see his hand sir would you, would you then do the whole pose there you go thank you one three one two three all right thank you thank you chief let's take a minute frank you have any family here Yes, I do. Well, I know they would like to have a picture, be in the picture with you. Why don't you have them come up and let's get a picture with them. And then, behind, and then after that, let's get your fireman. This is a good, a good deal, big deal. We need to take time to properly. All right, Mr. Man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Chief Dixon. <laughs> not mess with her. Okay. <laughs> Some little boys on it. <laughs> Thank you, 
Thank you, Mr. Jerry. We appreciate you doing that. Thank you. I, I forgot to mention Jerry Peter's name. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, that's all we have on the presentation. So next we have public comment period time. This is time anybody from the audience can speak for up to three minutes about anything you want to that pertains to Goldsboro. Would anybody like to speak? Anybody like to speak? Seeing none, we're going to close the public comment and move to the consent agenda. Mayor, presented for your consideration is items D through K, with the exception of D. Item D has been pulled for further evaluation by the city attorney and we can brought back at the next um, council meeting. Move to adopt consent agenda items B through K, with the exception of item D. Is there a second? Second. Roll call. Mayor Adams. Yes, ma'am. Mayor Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Councilmember Yes. Yes. So the consent agenda passes. Items requiring individual action. We have none tonight. Uh, next, we have city manager's report. I do have one item, uh, Mr. Mayor and City Council. I would like to bring up Miss Catherine Wynn. She is our new finance director. She is um, 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 filling in. She's going to be replacing Kay, and, and it started last Wednesday. Um, she is a um, former city man, um, assistant city manager with the city of Kenston. She's been in um, public practice, industry, and government for over 25 years, and has 12 years of local government experience. She is a practicing certified public accountant and has many other certifications as well. And we're really excited to have her here with us and look forward to working with her for years. I just wanted to introduce her to the citizens and to the council and give her an opportunity to just say hello. Well, we all welcome you and I'm sure we look forward to working with you. Uh, thank Probably. you very much, right. Mr. Mayor, council members, and Mr. Manager. I thank you for the opportunity to be here to serve the citizens of the city of Goldsboro. I really look forward to working with you. Everyone has been so welcoming and so friendly, and I really do appreciate it. You have really made me feel like family, and I thank you for that. Yes, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Well, welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Guthrie? All right. With that, we have the mayor and councilman reports and recommendations. Uh, it is February, so the first one I have is Black History Month Proclamation. Whereas the 2019 theme for National Black History Month is Black Migration, emphasize the movement of people of African descent to new destinations and subsequently new social realities. During Black History Month, we celebrate the many achievements and contributions made by African Americans to our economic, cultural, spiritual, and political development. Dr. Carter G. Woodson, known as the father of Black History, initiated Negro History Week in February 1926, and for many years, the second week of February was chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, was celebrated by African Americans in the United States. Whereas in 1976, Negro History was expanded and became established as Black History Month, and is now celebrated all over North America. Black History Month is a time for <coughs> all Americans to remember the stories and teaching of those who helped build our nation, advance the cause of civil rights, and strengthen families and communities. Whereas African Americans have made significant contributions as leaders at the highest levels of our military, our businesses, our education, law, government, arts, sports, and religion. Therefore, I check out Mayor of City of Goldsboro, North Carolina, do hereby proclaim the month of February 2019 as Black History Month in the City of Goldsboro and encourage all citizens to observe this month by participating and supporting all festivities celebrating the proud heritage of African Americans. So I do know there's a lot going on. There's a lot of displays and, and history being presented. And uh, so I would encourage everyone to, to participate and I use some time for us to learn and, and try to be together and come together. So I would in, in just encourage everyone to do that. Um, with that, we'll go to council member comments and we'll start with Mr. Acott. No comment. Mr. Ham. No comment. Mr. Foster. No comment. Mr. Williams. Uh, I'd like to um, uh, allow everybody to uh, remember Black History Month as well. And uh, we had a lot of leaders that contributed um, to America in a positive way. Uh, we had Fred Frederick Douglass, Thurgood Marshall, John Lewis, Marcus Garvey, Adam Clayton Powell, uh, Martin Luther King, and Muhammad Ali, just to name a few, um, that contributed to a betterment of America. So. Um, 
don't forget that. And um, I also want you to support black businesses here in Goldsboro. We have many black businesses here that definitely need your support and help. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Stevens? <clears throat> um, to keep up with the harmonious tone of um, rhetoric going on, um, please come out and support um, all African-American businesses and all African-American events going on in this community because beyond calling out anyone because of their race or their skin or their race, I believe in my heart we are all humans so we should all celebrate each other together. And this month is no different than any other month in this calendar year. I also would like to speak out and say to our military that I know it was in the paper that your golf course is closed, but I want to let you know that our golf course is open and you're more than welcome. And I'm pretty sure that between now and however, and whenever it goes down, that the city will come through and there will be some discounts for you coming and being able to use our facilities that you're, now that your facility is no longer being used. <clears throat> also, I want to speak on two major things tonight. Um, to every citizen of Wayne County and every citizen of Goldsboro, because we're all, in, we're all Wayne Countyites, whether in Goldsboro or in the county, um, I want somebody to, somebody to please to clarify to me what is going on with Edgewood. Um, Edgewood is a school within the city limits that service children with special disabilities and special needs. And it seems to be that the county public school system is going to shut that school down and move the students around and mainstream them, in a sense, to the point where some of these teachers are not even able to facilitate working with some of these students. So I find that to be a major strain on our teacher population and I want to have some clarification and I hope Dr. Dunsmore and the Wayne County School Board and the school system will come to us and give us an answer on that. Um, next, I just want to say that it's funny because all my life my father would say be a man, be a man, be a man. You gotta, sometimes it's harder to be a man than what you think it is, but you gotta be a man. And I say to us as council members, and I'm speaking to my fellow council members, sometimes it's harder to put away personal issues than deal with what is necessarily at hand. Some things are done wrong, and some things will continue to be done wrong, and I don't know why they won't be done right. But I ask you all to look inside yourselves and say, I'm going to be a man and we're not gonna fight about personal issues. We're gonna to work together and we're gonna solve the problems that are needed and that are ha at, at hand and make a way for our citizens to have a better way of life and not argue with each other anymore. And to my dear friend, Mr. Ham, on the opposite end, I spoke to you once, because we had a phone conversation about William Wallace and uh, Mel Gibson playing him in the picture. I said, e look with inside yourself, and if you just lead, I would follow you, and I know there would be several other people that would do the same. And I hope that you will take my words to you at hand, because I see strength in you, my friend and I hope that you will do the right thing with all the things that have come up tonight. Um, Councilman Foster, I see truth within you, and I know that you seek the truth a lot of times, even though it doesn't always come out, but I hope that you will one day receive the truth that you are seeking, and that we won't have to fight about these problems anymore. Mr. Mayor, I consider you a friend, and I always will, and I always try to help you when I can, and 
I just, it, it bothers me that you guys can't see the eye to eye. And it breaks my heart because I'm always a person like you. You like to see things done decent and in order, but sometimes things aren't done decent and in order. But we got, I know that there's a way that we can get that done. Councilman Williams, I know that you have had issues, whether they be personal or otherwise, and you come into this situation with some other outside issues. But I pray the same for you that I pray for my other pe colleagues, that in some shape, form, or fashion, that these things won't bother you and you will continue to conduct yourself in the manner that you have conducted and you try to fight for the, the rights of the citizens. And I, and I pray that you will continue that because I see strength in you too, my friend. You just have to stop letting these personal issues bother you. And that's all I have to say because I really truly believe if we just get past these problems that are causing us to argue and let the world see it, and unfortunately the base sees it. Because they talked about us a week ago in the morning about how our city is not where senior officers want to be. But if we work together as men, truly, we can make this whole city and this county be what it is supposed to be. So that's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. Mr. Rowley? Uh, no comment, sir. All right, well, the only thing, I, we did have the Shriners in town over the weekend. And I just want to thank them for coming. They were generally in Newburn. They always were in Newburn, but uh, they were flooded out this year, so they picked Goldsboro to come. And they had a nice parade here. And I, you know, I don't know they'll come back again because they may fix their own facility there, but they had major damage. But a lot of people made them feel really at home. So I just, number one, want to thank them for the good work they do uh, with the Children's Hospital. But number two, for picking Goldsboro because they could have picked anywhere in North Carolina to go to. So it's always good when we get good groups here. Uh, and with that, I thank everybody for coming, and we stand adjourned.